So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a video on how to make a project that grows flowers when you click. So when the user clicks on the mouse, it will create a flower at the location where the mouse is clicked. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning these concepts in Scratch. Custom blocks, pen, and change color effects. So I'll show you guys how the game works first. So at the beginning, it's clear. So when you click, it will make a flower. You'll make a lot of flowers. And once you want to clear all your stuff, you press the space bar and it'll all be cleared up. So yeah, that's pretty much the project. So let's start a new project. So first, well, we won't need the scratch cat. We already have the pen extension. So to get the extension, you want to go here and add the pen extension. So you have the pen right here. And you want to get the ball sprite. Uh, this one. We'll need the ball. You can select the backdrop. I, I'm going to take the blue sky, this one. So next, we're going to need to make some custom blocks. Let's make a custom block called draw stock. Draw stock, we'll need to add two inputs. One input is the length, the length of it. The length of the um, stock and the thickness of it. So we have length and thickness. Okay, so length and thickness, press OK. So we have the custom function. So at first we want to set the pen size, set the pen size to the thickness. So as you can see, you can just drag it from here. So set the pen size to the thickness. And we want to set the pen color to like a greenish color. So I'm going to just take a dark greenish color for the stock. This is for the stock. So I'll just take that color. You can do any color, of course. Um, so you want to pen down to draw the stock. Change Y by the length of the stock. So that would make, it'll change the Y position by the length of the stock. It'll like go up and down. It'll go up and make the stock. So just drag the length right here. So just put it here and pen up. So it'll stop drawing. So that's it for the, the stock. And now we have to do the, um, when it clicks, it will make the um, stalk and grow the flower. So we'll need, uh, what first we'll want to clear everything with the space bar. So you can just do this, of course. When space key is pressed, erase all. It's pretty simple. So next we'll want to drag in that one clip flag click block. In the beginning, we want to erase all. So when you start the project, it will all, all the artwork will be erased. Get a forever loop. And inside you want an if then statement. If then mouse down, that means if they're clicking the mouse. So if the <clears throat> mouse is down right here, then go to the mouse pointer. So it'll go to following the mouse. Go to the mouse pointer. Uh, go to mouse pointer. Yeah, I'm right here. Just select mouse pointer and we want to draw stock 105. That's the length. The length of the stock will be 100 and the thickness will be 5. So it'll be 100 tall and 5 wide. So as you can see, when you click now, it'll draw stocks. It'll draw stocks everywhere, but we haven't done the flower yet. So now we'll need another custom block called draw flower. Let me zoom out a little because it's going to be a big block. So draw flower. So draw flower will need three inputs. So just add the text. Number of petals. Oops, spelled number wrong. Number of petals. Then we'll need petal color. This is just the color of the petal. And this is the center color, which is like the ball color. It's 
uppercase. It's a center color. So that's our blocks. This is our custom block right here. So when you click, you want to, um, when to define this, we want to first set the size to 100. So the ball will always be at 100% size. Set the color effect in the beginning to the petal color. So that would be the color of the petal. And for repeat, we'll repeat, take the repeat, number of petal times, <clears throat> move 25, so that's to draw the petal, move 25 steps in like the circular motion, move 25 steps, stamp, so it'll stamp multiple uh, circles, so it'll make, make like a flower, I guess, stamp, and move negative 25 steps. Also for drawing the flower. <clears throat> so what this code means is it'll, so if put this in negative 25 is the ball will go out, draw, stamp right here, go back to the center and move here and draw. So next we'll need the turn. So it'll turn 360, uh, 360 divided by the number of petals. We do 360 because a circle is 300 degrees, 360 degrees, and we'll take the number of petals. So the more, uh, the more degrees you turn, the more petals it makes, the less degree it'll turn, and the more and the less petals it'll make, the more degrees it'll turn. So less petals equals more turn, and more petals is less turn. So we'll change the color. Set the color, sorry, set the color effect to the center color out right here. So the center will actually have a color and stamp. Take the pen, stamp. And finally, we'll need to go back up here and go here into this code, this chunk of code, get this function, the draw flower function. Put it under here. It'll, so what this is calling is this function. So we'll need to pick random five to ten, which is um basically pick random pick random five to ten number of petals. So it'll pick a random number of uh, petals between five uh, from five to ten. So next we'll want to pick random negative one hundred to one hundred. That's the going to be the petal color negative 100 to 100, so this will determine the petal's color. And finally, the center color will also do pick random, negative 100 and 100. So that's all we have right now. That's it. So let's play it. So as you can see, it's making flowers. And when you press space, it clears. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment down in the below on if you like this video. Please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.